Hi kids, today we are going to start with a new lesson from the window. 17th May, it is morning now. Last night I went to sleep early. It was too dark to see anything outside. When the train stopped early this morning, I woke up. It was Mudgaon. That was written on the board at the platform. Appa said that we were going through the state of Goa. Here is the signboard at Mudgaon station. This is the state of Goa. It lies on the western coast of India. We got off at the station and had some hot tea and filled our water bottles. The train started again. I find it difficult to describe the scene outside. It is so beautiful. It is green everywhere. Fields with red soil, green crops and hills covered with trees. Sometimes I can see small ponds and far away behind the hills more water. I can't make out if it is a river or the sea. The air is cooler and not so dry as in Ahmedabad. You can see here that Ahmedabad is in the state of Gujarat. And this is the distance between Goa and Ahmedabad. It's 1098 kilometers by road. The train passed a level crossing. People are waiting on both the sides of the crossing for the train to pass. There are buses full of people, cars, trucks, auto rickshaws, cycles, motorcycles, scooters and even tongas and bullock carts with people and goods in them. Here is a picture of a level crossing. Level crossing is where a railway line crosses the road at the same level. In this picture you can see buses, motorcycles, scooters and auto rickshaws waiting at the level crossing. Some people do not switch off the engines of their vehicle even while waiting. There is a lot of smoke and noise. I see some people going under the bars of the level crossing. How dangerous this is! At times, our train crosses another train. Unni and I tried to count the carriages in one such train, but both the trains were going so fast. We always got confused. Train carriages are separate parts of the train which carries passengers. In this picture, we can see one, two, three and four carriages. What was the difference in the scene that Omana saw from the train on the first day and on the second day? On the first day, it was too dark for Omana to see anything. On the second day, she saw green fields, ponds and hills. She also passed by a level crossing. Omana saw many kinds of vehicles at the level crossing. Which of them run on diesel or petrol? Let's take a look at this picture. There are buses and motorcycles. Buses run on diesel while motorcycles run on petrol. So we write buses run on diesel, motorcycles run on petrol. Why was there so much smoke and noise from the vehicles at the level crossing? Let's go back to the story. It says some people do not switch off the engines of their vehicles even while waiting. There is a lot of smoke and noise. So we write, there was so much noise because some people did not switch off their engines while waiting at the level crossing. Have you ever seen a scene like the one Omana saw in Goa? Describe it. Sonu says, yes, I saw green fields surrounded by hills when I was travelling from Mumbai to Pune. Sometimes, people cross the tracks even when the crossing is closed. What do you feel about this? Sonu says, It is very dangerous to do so. I feel that people should be more responsible and follow the rules. 17th May Later, I was sitting near the window with my eyes closed. Suddenly, the sound of the moving train changed. Could, could, could. I opened my eyes. Guess what I saw? Our train was crossing a very big river on a very long bridge. As it was crossing the bridge, it sounded very different. The wheels rattled as there was no ground, only the tracks and the water down below. Here is a picture of a railway bridge across a river. Rattle means to make short knocking sounds. When I first looked down, I felt giddy. It was really quite scary. The river down below was full of water and had some boats. I could also see some fishermen on the banks. I waved at them but I did not know if they could see me. Giddy is a feeling like your head is spinning and you are about to fall. 
Alongside our bridge, there was another bridge for buses and cars. This was built differently from ours. I think going over our bridge was more adventurous. In this picture, you can see that there is a bridge for vehicles and people to travel. Find out why bridges are made. Bridges are made for people and vehicles to cross over a water body. This bridge is built across a river and this bridge is built across the sea. This bridge is meant for vehicles and people while this bridge is a railway bridge. With this, we come to the end of this video.